Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to replace a contactor. We will also visit the topic of contactor selection. The most common contactors on the market today are single pole, two pole, and three pole. Each of these are available in 30 amp, 40 amp, and 50 amp. To identify the amp rating of the contactor, we look here on the side of the contactor and we can see the amp rating. These are also available in a variety of different coil voltages. The most common is 24 volt, but you can also get 110, 120, or 220, 40 volt coils. The purpose of a single pole contactor, as shown here, is to provide the compressor with electricity for heating. Uh, normally, this is found on heat pumps. The two pole variety here is used on most air conditioning applications. And the three pole, of course, are used on industrial or commercial where you have a three, three pole, three phase application. Um, I personally do not carry any of the 30 amp single pole. I find them to be useless. If you carry a two pole 40 amp contactor, you can replace 90% of the contactors on the market today. What you do if you're going to replace a single pole contactor with a two pole contactor, make yourself a jumper wire like this. The wire size is not very important because the amp draw of the heater is very low. So if you're replacing a single pole with a two pole contactor, create a jumper wire like this. This will provide electricity to the heating element um, and then it will also control everything else as you need it. Now of course on three phase you can do this exact same application on a three phase contactor but they're sometimes they're quite a bit more expensive. Now to actually replace this contactor the easiest way is to remove each wire one at a time put it on the new contact where it was connected to the old contactor and then pay close attention to ensure that you do the low voltage on the side correctly. If you want to know how to test a contactor, go watch our tutorial titled Contactor Dash Testing. This concludes our tutorial on contactor replacement and selection. Please stay tuned for a brief introduction to the super cool slide rule. This is the coolest tool in the air conditioning industry. Thank you. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.